Uh, I guess I'll need a mic. Hey, Jalen, uh, mm -hmm. you sent us a little thoughts for us. How big was Al's play? 113 apiece. He gets the big three pointer and then a block on Trey. How big was that as far as the shift of momentum for the game? Um, it was huge, you know. Um, at the time, we needed a big play. And uh, Al came through for us. You know, hit the big shot in the corner, big defensive stops, rebounds. Um, and that's the course. That's like what you need, 48 minutes to play. And uh, we finished it off. How much do you enjoy coming back to Atlanta, being from here? I saw a lot of your family members out here. What does it mean for you to kind of play basically your hometown? No, it means a lot. You know, I, I talk about, you know, um, I remember my first Atlanta Hawks game. I was seven years old. My aunt bought me tickets. And I remember sitting in the nosebleeds. And, you know, to be now fast forward, you know, 19, 20 years later, to be in the playoffs and advancing to the next round is a blessing. And it's probably a kid that was probably sitting up there, a seven-year-old that was probably watching me um, today, feeling the same way I was feeling back then. So um, my message to him is, you know, good luck. I'll be waiting. What was that mindset from game five to game six? Uh, just had to come out and uh, just lock in even more. Um, Drop one on our home floor. Um, felt like we had control of the game most of the time in game five. And down the stretch, we just you know gave it away. And tonight, kind of felt like Atlanta had control of the game for the most part, or was back and forth. And we was able to pull away at the end. And you know, it ain't got to be pretty. You just got to figure out how to do it. And that's what we did. Um, I just went in time, I guess, you know, adrenaline, you know, just that will, um, that perseverance to, you know, finish the game. It was close. Um, you know, both teams was exchanged blows. We was both tired. Um, and, you know, we didn't want to be the team going back home with an L. So um, we just found a way to win. Is this, can a series like this make you guys better? For, for, for the I think so. I think the way I describe it is like um, in the playoffs, you got, you know, you got basketball, you got execution, and then you got this like fight that's kind of going on. And Atlanta, you know, they might not have had all of the X's and O's, but they fought, you know, they fought us. They offensive rebounded. They they played hard. They good effort. They used their athleticism. They didn't back down from no challenges. Um, and that's what we needed to step up was the fight of the game, you know, and that's where we had to match that intensity in the last couple of uh, minutes down the line. Coach, I was wondering if there was a kind of stagnancy in the last game that he, he was much more pleased this game, not that it was playing faster, I think his words was helter skelter, is that just a matter of making kind of quick decisions? What did you like about how you guys executed in that situation? I think we just composed ourselves a little bit more. Um, that was it, you know, um, got our space in. There was no need to rush. Um, you know, we'll, if we get our right space in and we're aggressive, we're going to be able to get a good look. And uh, we did. We got some big looks down the line, and they went down. Al hit one. I think Smart hit two. Um, and, you know, that's what we needed, you know, to hit some big shots down the line. Hey, uh, Jalen, um, Trey said in his press he said that you guys played real tough. But basically, he was saying that you guys are on a mission right now. You feel like you're the best team going forward. Uh, that's some kind words, but, you know, for us, you know, in the playoffs, none of that matter. And we saw examples of that in this series. You got to come out and be ready to play and be ready to go. No matter what it looked like on paper, um, it no matter what it looked like, you know, in the media or in the news, you got to come out and play basketball. You got teams that's not going to back down. You got guys that's going to come out and test you. And um, Atlanta Hawks did that. You know, they came out and they fought. They came out and they played. They competed. DeAndre Hunter. Um, good young developed player. He came out and, and hurt us. You know, Bogey made big shots. Um, Okongo, I love his game. You know, he's consistent. He protects the rim. He's athletic. Um, they just came out and they played, man. And, and you got to be ready to play, regardless of what your name is on the front or the back. You just got to hoop. You guys have some history, obviously, with, with Philadelphia, um, both in the playoffs and a lot of regular season games. How is this team different? How are they testing different? How is Philly going to test us different? Yeah. Um, we know, you know, they're going to bring the fight. Philly is a tough environment to win. Um, you know, they, they crowd gets involved into the game. It's going to be, 
it's going to be fun. Um, we already know they got some great players um, and, and Joel and B, James Harden and company. Uh, so it's going to be another test of, again. We're going to have to get ready to fight um, again. And, uh, and I'm up for it. And uh, I can't wait. Jalen, last question. Back here, whatever. Um, that inbounds play where they couldn't get in four times, just how big was that for you guys kind of like as an epitomization of everything? That's great. You know, tough, tough position where the ball was. You know, they had Trey taking it out, who's probably their best, who is their best passer. But, you know, in that position, you can't, you, put, you know, you put a bigger guy on the ball, you can't see nothing. So, you know, we took advantage of that. We made sure that we, you know, switched and came together and they couldn't get the ball in bounds and that, you know, sealed the game for us. Thank you, Jalen. Thank you. Thank you.